What's going on you guys? This is Aaron from the Pritrace Capital and welcome to the video. In this video we're talking about an exciting new company to the channel and that company is called Cabu Mining. Now Cabu Mining is a copper exploration company that's focusing on BC and the Yukon in Canada, a very safe mining jurisdiction. So as you know the copper market's really hot, the EV market is really hot, so I'm excited to be talking about this company. Like I said, we'll simply be introducing the company and we'll have many more updates along the way. Also, for full disclosure details, this is a sponsored video, so check the description down below for full disclosure details, along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer, and always remembering that these videos are not financial advice. So with that being said, guys, I bring you Cabby Mining. Of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications on future videos and updates on Cabby Mining, along with hitting that like button. It helps my videos so, so very much. Drop me some comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the company, on the sector. Do you guys like copper? I would love to hear it. So let's get straight into it. The first thing we're going to talk about and go over is their website. So you can find more information about the company at cabumining.com. We're going to go over a few key points. So creating value through discovery. The electric vehicle sector will need 250% more copper by 2030 for charging stations alone. So, so if you want more information on their projects, you can find it right there on the homepage. Along with their investor presentation, we will be going over the investor presentation in this video just to get an idea of you know the company, what they do, their assets. Um, there's also a section for news, so you can check that out. Now the stock is trading on the CSE under ticker symbol CAVU. At the time of this video's release, it has roughly a $16.29 million market cap, 39.74 million shares outstanding, and a 52-week low of 20 cents with a 52-week high of 64 cents. So, so as we can see their most recent news, you can find it right there on their website or on JuniorMiningNetwork.com. They provided an update on exploration programs at their hopper, copper gold project in the Yukon. Some of the highlights were samples from six holes, 1130 meters of drilling center lab. First assay is expected late September, so we'll definitely have some coverage on those for you guys. Ground and airborne geophysical programs completed and field crews now preparing for exploration on the Kimi Mat property. So now let's dive into their investor presentation and this is their most recent investor presentation, but let's take a look. So the overview. Underexplored high value targets. The Hopper project in Yukon contains high grade drill proven scar mineralization over 1200 by 800 meters, open on all sides, and a large porphyr target. The Kimi Mat project contains two intrusion related targets with high grade copper gold mineralization at surface. Excellent infrastructure. The Kimi Mat project is road accessible and in close proximity to power rail and the Kimi Mat deep water port. High value exploration, ROI due to cost effective exploration programs. So strong structure and management as well. Bolstered by an effective team of capital market professionals, Kavu's technical team has intimate experience identifying and exploring for copper in BC and the Yukon. Kavu has been structured to provide an attractive valuation amongst its peers. Yukon is host to large intrusion related deposits such as casino project, port for deposit, and reserves of 8.9 million ounces of gold and 4.5 billion pounds of copper. Revenue plus nucleus port for deposits with 791,000 ounces of gold and 75 million pounds of copper indicated resource. Plaza epithermal deposit with 686,000 ounces of gold, 14.1 million ounces of silver. Plaza epithermal deposit with 686,000 ounces of gold, 14.1 million ounces of copper, and 73,000 pounds of lead, and then 73,000 pounds of lead, 92,000 pounds of zinc. So as we can see there, guys, their hopper project is located in and amongst some very big deposits. So let's talk about the highlights of their hopper project. Located in the southern Yukon, 20 kilometers north of Otter Falls, hydroelectric generator 320 kilometers from deep sea port of Haines, Alaska, 120 kilometers northwest of Whitehorse. Single continuous clean block of 74 kilometers squared, so Cavu Mining has entered into an option for 70% interest with Strategic Metals, a renowned Yukon project generator. Proven scarn mineralization. Scarn mineralization occurs over a 1,200-800 meter by 400 meter area and is open to the west, east, and south. Further scarn mineralization to the north of the hopper, Poulton, is undrilled. And there we can see the gradings. So you guys can pause the video or download the investor presentation and take a look there. All right, guys, now let's talk about the Kimi Mat and BC copper potential. 20 kilometers northwest of Kimi Mat, close to power, road, rail, and deep water port. Size, single continuous claim block of 30.6 kilometers, access, road, and quad trail. 
ownership, Kabu Mining has entered into an option for 100% interest with Pacific Empire Minerals, a copper project generator. NSR 2% and a 1% buyback agreement for a million bucks. Pro mining jurisdiction. So British Columbia produces over half of all Canadian copper, as we know. Focus of historic drilling significant intercepts 94.06 meters at half, just over half a percent copper and 1.12 grams per ton gold. And then 105.85 meters at 0.6% copper and 1.15 grams per ton gold. Drilling along structures and mineralized zone. Kavu focus, ground geophysics followed by drilling. So there should be some exciting results coming this year. All right, so let's talk about their phase two exploration program. So the Hopper project, phase one, infill drilling in Southern Skarn, trenching, mapping, and prospecting over Porfer Target, three dip acquisition over Skarn and Porfer. Phase two, drilling of Porfer Target, drilling of Northern Skarn, infill drilling of Southern Skarn. Now the Kimmy Mat BC, phase one, prospecting, mapping, possible hand trenching, geophysics review and infill geophysics, and phase two, further data infill if required, drilling and, and then drilling and possibly trenching. So it's always a great idea to take a look at the company's leadership team and the technical team, especially when you're talking or, you know, researching an exploration company. And that is it for the introductory video, guys. So we will have many more videos coming for Cavalry Mining when they release drill results. It's going to be exciting. As we know, copper is very much in demand. The electric vehicle market is a very high growth market. So... I'm excited to cover this company. We'll see how it does. Drop me some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. And thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in our next video. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember, Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.